Hi guys, welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. I'm super excited today to bring to you guys an, a comparison, a physical comparison between the RTX 4080 AIB and the RTX 3090 AIB. Let's get this started. Okay, so first of all, this is a physical comparison only. If you want to look at a proper comparison of the actual performance, I'll link that up top right hand corner and I'll be doing a review of this card very shortly against all sort of cards, just to give you guys a bit of an idea. Now, before I continue, I'd like to let you guys know, I completely fund everything on this channel myself. So if you appreciate that, all you have to do is hit that super thanks button and you'll be ensuring that my work continues. If you can't afford to do that, you can subscribe and watch more videos, or you can do all of those. All right, let's get this started. So I've got the Gigabyte Aorus Master. This guy is RGB galore, and it's basically nearly topped out with how much you can push this card. The next tier above this is the Extreme, so Aorus Extreme. Below that, you've got Eagle and all those Gigabyte ones that are really not that good. So this is really, really good. You can see how beefy the cooler is. It, it's a bit higher than this but as you can see it's not as big as this guy this guy is a good one finger longer another thing that you, i can't convey to you guys in terms of weight this is not as heavy nowhere near as heavy as the aorus master that's a lot more heavier even though it's a smaller card now on this side you'll have this card which is the pny's just the normal overclock so the base overclock for the normal rtx 4080 is 2505 this goes to 2550 okay so that's the difference you get between this so let's look at the 4080 so this is not the 49 that's the 3090 it's just amazing how cards are getting bigger and bigger all right so i like the design it's it's a lot of plastic okay the fans are all right they're not too bad they do look cheap and it's not a cheap product either so you've got a bit of led here you've got the 12 pin connector over over here so if you can look at that and here is where you can see the difference between a 4080 and a 4090 so 4080 has two of these and 4090 has four of those and other than that you you can also see how this is the metal backplate to keep everything together. I love how it's it's got cutouts here to let the air out. I don't appreciate there's nothing here. That's not that good. This can be bigger. That's tiny for a massive card. That's not too bad. The cutouts here are not too bad. I love this. There's perforation over here that's happening. All in all, not a bad card. I don't mind it at all. Let's look at the Gigabyte. Now, the one thing to note about the RTX 4080 is it the PNY one, it's not got any BIOS switch. So you can't play around with that. Now, this is the Gigabyte Aorus and it's my everyday card. So it's got LEDs here. It's got an LED screen here, LEDs here, and you've got more LEDs in the back. So this is LED, that, and some here as well. It's got a BIOS switch as well, which goes from silent to performance. And it's a really, really beefy, heavy, heavy card. You do have issues with this card. I've had issues. The things I don't like about it is there's not much of an opening ha happening here. Good amount of opening here, good back hole, great opening here, nothing here again, okay? You've got RGB here though. All right, so can't really fault it that much. I can, but not that much. So it's a really good card. If you can get your hands on it, it's a really, really nice looking card. It looks really nice in your case, but I have had issues with this where the thermal pace, but that those are with all 3090s they are uh, they weren't pasted properly or something and they heat up quite a bit so they go through their thermal paste and the p thermal paste got gets destroyed so what what was happening was as soon as i start gaming the game would go to 144 hertz as you guys know i do 2k 144 hertz monitor so it goes to there and it would drop down all the way down to 29 fps Okay, and it'll go back up to like maximum 59 within five minutes, and it just it would it just it would stutter and crash and stutter, and the fans would be on full blast. So I sent it back to them. They repasted it and sent it out to me. By the way, I've got a cool my GPU. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. But that's basically it, guys. These are both the cards in front of you. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which one would you go for. This is huge. Look at this guy. All right. Thanks for watching. Take good care. Bye-bye.